If recent polling is any indication, most of the district is still unaware that we are involved in a highly contentious Senate race for the first time in several years. The three contestants, former Lance Corporal Betsy Rostifer, conservationist Magnolia Barnaby, and data entry specialist Bobby Soxer, will be presenting their platforms tonight in a new youth-skewed, rock-the-vote-style town hall setting. Let's get some responses from the street. What will you look for in tonight's debate? Well, I really think that Magnolia Barnaby presents a very compelling renewable energy policy. Is this on? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, give it a shake. There you go. Good. All right. I'm outside Washington Plaza, but inside tonight is... Welcome, welcome. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming to the Rock the Vote. I am your host. Trask, and we have three great candidates. Thank you for coming out today. My name is Magnolia Barnaby, and I want your vote. Thank you. My name is Bobby Soxer, and I deserve your vote. Hi, I'm Betsy Rostifer. I've just returned from a tour of duty in Iraq, and I'm here to make some radical changes. Now we're going to go to the audience for some questions. I want to ask the candidates why they got into politics in the first place. If it doesn't work, shake it, shake it, shake it. If it doesn't work, shake it, shake it. If it doesn't work, shake it, shake it. If it doesn't work, shake it. Can I answer the question now? Thank you. Uh, I got into politics for one simple reason. When I was a child, my family took me to Monticello, and I was inspired by the vision of Thomas Jefferson. And I, we need to throw out those fat cats in Washington and get some governing done. You. <clears throat> Woke up in the morning, packed my bags up, jumped off a plane and tore I rack up. Now I'm back every day, I wake up sorely disappointed. Why are we attacking all these people? Cut and run, forget Haditha. Got more problems with the English speakers. Resolved when I'm appointed. One day, my father said to me, Magnolia, you should go fish with me. You will learn the secrets of the sea, then share my craft with society. My, my father, father was, was a whaler, a whaler, a whaler. A whaler. My, my father, father was, was a whaler, whaler and he sailed the seven seas. One night, the phone went ringling. On the line, a man said, Barnaby, there's been an accident. Get here quickly. Your father said to say, he is a sight to see. My, My father, father was a whaler, a whaler, a whaler. My father was a whaler, and he sailed the seven seas. We packed up in the Ford, heading for the sea. My father, he was maimed rather viciously, but we ran out of gas. Then it dawned on me, we could use the whales for renewable energy. My father was a whaler, a whaler, a whaler. My father was a whaler, and he sailed the seven seas. And then he died. All right, thank you, thank you. We're gonna take another question. What's the most important issue? What a question. Well, uh. Were, were we supposed to bring our own guitarists? Was that no one? No one told me. No, no. All right. Uh, to to answer your question, the the single most important issue in my campaign is to solve our environmental problems in a business friendly way. I'm a firm advocate of carbon credits, giving businesses credits that they could trade on the open market to reduce their pollution. Really. <clears throat> Iraqis don't speak English, but they did get one thing right. They got oil, they got oil, and that oil is my fight. When I was in Iraq, we used funnels for our beer, so that's the same technique I'll use to get their oil here. Woo! <laughs> Whales are animals of great size and mass. Many varieties offer shores to pass. We catch them, we drain them, we kill them painfully. Then use their oil in our Jeep Grand Cherokees. Woo! Whale oil? Whale oil in your cars? 
It's my opinion that the right honourable gentleman, Mr. Bobby Sex fiend or holic or whatever the bloody well his name is, has his head placed squarely up his bum. Here, quiet! It's uh, Bobby uh, Sock, uh, sir! Bobby uh, Sock! Uh, excuse me! Is a excuse me! Thank you! This is nuts. Thank you. Let's get ready for the lightning round. <laughs> what? I'm against glass ceilings. I'm for Spanish tiles. Homeless people need new shoes. So they can walk for miles. No more gays in uniform. That sounds really swell. Wow, we agree on something. Yes. They are going to hell. Is this an anti-gay musical? Do you want to say something? For the 15th time, that's it's Bobby. Bobby, thanks. And uh, I don't know, I, I just wanted to tell you people out there that you should be taking this election seriously. We shouldn't be turning this debate into American Idol. Sing a song! I'm not going to sing. I'm trying to take this debate and this election seriously. People are making a mockery of it. This is, this is absurd. Whale oil as a solution to our energy problems? You can't, you can't run cars off of oil. This is ridiculous. That song was terrible! Oh, come on. I just... This sucks. I'm, I'm out of here. Woo! Um, well, I guess that ends the debate. Thank you very much, and remember Election Day. Please vote. Vote or die! Woo! What does that mean? The election is here. The election is here. I feel like I've waited for almost a year. But as the election kept crawling so near, the reasonable candidates soon disappeared. Tally the ballots, count up the votes. The reporters are watching, taking their notes. One sits in the corner, reviewing his notes. While the candidates use soft money to buy shiny, shiny new votes. But now is your chance for your voice to be heard unless you're an incompetent, indecisive, democracy-hating turd. Just get online. Do it tonight. Vote for your favorite candidate on our website. DC 